welcome to my apartment for once. Um, my name is Elena, if you are unfamiliar. And we are at my two bedroom, one and a half bath in the East Village where I pay $6,000 and I have roommates, we split it. So come on in, let me show you around. So welcome to my apartment. Um, to enter, you kind of like walk up this set of stairs from the street level and you enter the main space. So this is like a duplex, which is really nice and kind of rare for New York. And as you walk in, you just have your kitchen, living room, dining room. Immediately upon entry, we have our first bathroom. So we have a little half bath, which has been so nice. We love to host and it's just perfect when guests come to be able to use. And I have all my like favorite candles and lotions, like my Maison Margiela candle. And then as you walk out, of course, I have to make use of every inch of space as one does in New York. And a coat closet coat rack here of all my favorite coats for the winter season. So right here we have this huge bookshelf, which I really love, honestly. And it's nice because the landlord actually left it behind, which is clutch because like I would not want to have to deal with this. And it just has become kind of like a catch all, like the place to throw your keys, random cards, lots of books, which you'll see a lot of throughout the apartment because I love to read. I feel like this is a very New York thing or maybe it's like an urban thing where restaurants give you matches about like the host stands. So I've just collected some from some different restaurants over time of the nines or so house. Just a reminder of good nights out. Welcome to the kitchen. This has become a favorite space. I used to like honestly not really like cooking before I moved into this apartment, but I feel like having such a big kitchen that like looks out onto the living space has changed the game and has really got me to enjoy cooking. Cause for one, I can like look out and look out the window as I'm like making a meal or watch TV. We host quite a lot and I feel like Friends always end up like congregating around this area as like someone's cooking or making drinks. It's just become a very like fun social space. And the fridge is fun too because I've like collected a few magnets while traveling. So we have Zion, Brazil, Nice. This is from the ABBA Museum in Sweden. And then just like a little photo of my family just to keep them in mind. So now we have kind of like the living room area. What's nice is this couch was also left by my landlord. Don't worry, we got it professionally cleaned, but it is so clutch. It's this like massive CB2 couch and like I'm 6'1 and even when I'm hanging on here, like I could kick my little feet, like it's so deep. And I feel like you can fit like seven people on this couch. And I also really love this casterly rug. It's super soft. Back over here, we have this bar cabinet of just like a random assortment of drinks. If I wanna make some cocktails and this mirror, which I got off Facebook Marketplace. You can't go wrong. Facebook Marketplace has got you covered. I also have quite a few coffee table books. I have several from Asseline, which is a company I've worked with a couple times. And I think they just make beautiful books. You've probably seen them if you've gone into any artsy bookstore. I feel like they have very recognizable covers with like the block text and like the vibrant colors. They're just like these photo books of all these different beautiful parts of the world. This one's fun. It's called Bon Voyage. And my friend Wesley got this for me. It's about boutique hotels for like sustainable travel. I love traveling. It's a big part of my job. And I try to incorporate sustainability. I also have like a David Bowie book, a book on LA. And then this is fun as well. My godmother got this for me. She's really into estate sales, which is a great place to find cool books and decor. And she got me this and it's a photo book on Iran. What's cool too, if you're unfamiliar, is that in a lot of different places in this like region of the world, people actually read the opposite of us. So instead of going from like right to left, like as we do in the States, they read the opposite way. And I remember whenever my grandpa would visit from Iran, he'd always like read opposite to what I was used to. And it like always blew my mind as a kid. I have to talk about my plants. I have quite a few plants throughout this apartment. And this one I am particularly proud of because I bought her on like the side of the street for $20 when she was like this big and she's grown to be this big, beautiful plant. Like I love my plants. They're my little babies. I whisper sweet nothings to them and like brush the dust off their leaves. Having lots of green throughout. I feel like it just provides for one a pop of color and also just like a sense of like freshness in life. And so, I love my plants. Over here, we have um, a couple big pieces of art. This is just like a reprint of a Bauhaus exhibition, but I really love like black and white prints and designs and art as you'll kind of see scattered throughout the apartment. And then this is cool too, because there is a online company called Drool that essentially partners with graphic designers to help them print their work. 
This lamp is fun. I feel like people are always like, where the hell is this lamp from? You think maybe it's from some like design store. It's actually from Ikea, <laughs> which we love a deal. And I am huge on like ambient lighting. I always have like different lighting points kind of scattered throughout any of my living spaces. And I always get the like Philip Hughes changeable lights. So pretty much every single lamp in here, I can change the color, which is really nice. There's a lot of warm oranges and yellows and reds, especially in the evening. It's like always so cozy every single night. On the topic of lighting, we also have this little like orb light. This originally was hanging on the wall and it fell off and it's the perfect fit. And so now I'm kind of obsessed with having this cowboy hat on this lamp. I got it from like a boot barn event <laughs> in the city where I went with one of my best friends and we both ended up getting cowboy hats and then we ended up going out that night and we like went to so many different bars. We kind of embraced the look the whole night and just rocked the cowboy hat all over downtown Manhattan. I think it's found its proper home right here. I feel like we've gotten lucky to have enough space to be able to have a dining table in New York. I keep saying this, but like, I really love hosting and I love being able to have people come over. The space has just been so special for that. You can fit like eight or nine people around this easily. So we have so many dinner parties. And my art is kind of honestly just like a random assortment. Again, I really like like these black and white designs, kind of like I was saying earlier. And okay, don't come for me, but I don't actually watch Akira, which is Japanese anime, but I just love the design. And I really appreciate just like the use of color and the font. So like I said, this is a two-story apartment. So now we will head on upstairs and I'll show you the other bedrooms we have. So you head up the set of stairs and you get to the second level, obviously. And what's nice over here is like we have this skylight, which has just been a great extra source of light to have in the apartment. And it leads up to the roof and we're not technically supposed to go up there. I do occasionally to go tan, but don't tell, don't tell my landlord. We have this massive, like, God, I don't even know, 10, 11 foot mirror that's built into the wall. So if you like taking an outfit of the day photo, this is your dream. And I feel like whenever friends come over, we always end up like taking selfies together in this. So this is where I do all my little outfit checks. As you walk in, you kind of come to this like intersection of all the different rooms. So we have my room, which is kind of like the biggest room, my roommate's room, extra closet space, which is very nice. So all of our luggage and extra coats and blankets and sheets are all in here. And then we have the bathroom. I love this bathroom. For one, we have a wash and dryer, like every New Yorker's dream. Like I'm so grateful for this. And then we have um, like the main bathroom. I love this bathroom. It's like my little spa. I honestly spend so much time in here getting ready, taking long showers, doing my like makeup and hair. And I love how it's been kind of remodeled into this like darker kind of luxurious look. So as you enter my room, immediately we have my dresser. I'm, an, I'm a New York girl, I need extra storage. Also just have lots of fun candles. A Labo candle, an Aseline candle. I actually painted this myself because I really wanted a large piece of art and art is so expensive. And so I just found this design on like Pinterest. Used my projector and projected it onto this canvas and then just kind of stenciled it out and painted it in. And then over here, we have some books I've read recently. So we have like On Earth We're Briefly Gorgeous some Murakami, Short History of the Middle East, Leonard Cohen and the Sinai, and of course some of my favorite perfumes. I've been loving Maison Margiela Beach Walk. As you can see, it's like almost out. Like, I gave myself an extra little spritz. Classic Lalabo Santal 33, which I'm also getting a little low on. I'm making use of like every nook and cranny in my room as you do. And I basically have like made my own jewelry store. I love my jewelry. I think it's so fun to accessorize and add a little flair to an outfit. I travel a lot and it's really hard to bring back different souvenirs that are any bigger than jewelry. So I usually end up bringing jewelry back as a souvenir. Over on this side, we obviously have my bed and I love my hanging plants. I've actually had this plant for probably four years and she has grown down to the floor so many times and I like have to give her a little haircut. I love this plant. It's honestly like been through a lot of life with me. And like I said, I have a lot of stack of books just kind of scattered throughout because I've basically run out of storage in my apartment for them otherwise. So if you ever need any book recs, I got you. So on my mirror is like the only other place in my apartment where I've kind of just included different 
photos. There's just like a lot of fun little Polaroids or different photo strips that I've gotten from like different events. I have my Brooklyn Half Marathon because like any single girl in her mid to late 20s in New York, of course I had to run my first half marathon. And honestly, I'm proud of myself. It was not easy. I love my bed. I have tried to make my bed as comfy and dreamlike as possible. I literally have six pillows and probably like two different like mattress toppers, which I highly recommend the ones from Parachute if you want just like a dreamlike bed. I feel like whenever I have friends visit, it always gets rave reviews. So I was trying to figure out what to put over top my bed. I ultimately decided on these like four fun prints. So we have a David Bowie print, another piece from Drool. And then this is fun too. It's like a poster from like a surf film essentially. And I'm from Southern California, so it's just like a nice little reminder of home. And I feel like this is like the world I grew up in. And it's funny because again, in California, you really don't hang anything above your bed because of earthquakes. And so I was like, oh, well, I'm in New York, it's fine. But we just had an earthquake a week ago. So maybe I need to move these after all. In this corner, we have my desk. It's nice to have like a designated space to work from from home, like with my big monitor and a good view out onto the, like, the streets of New York. And I like to keep it pretty clean so I can focus. If you're ever looking for a good comfy office chair, this is from Laura Davidson. I can just like very comfortably work in this all day. And I feel like it's a kind of like cool chic design. I have this assortment of cassette tapes. So I used to drive a like 1999 Honda CRV. There was no aux cord available. Like you either had to use cassettes or CDs to play music. And so at the time I collected a lot of different cassettes so I could play music in the car. And when I moved here, I actually had a friend who gifted me a cassette tape player like in honor of my car. And of course I really didn't end up using it to listen to these cassettes, but. They're just like a fun little reminder from home and they've definitely probably just gone to shit here in the sun under this AC. Just a fun little memory and just some artists that I love. Before I moved in, there was like nothing here. And again, it was just kind of this weird, awkward space. So I ended up putting in these bookshelves and obviously put in a bunch of different books. And I've kind of used it to store my cameras as well. Like I love my vintage cameras. I have a bunch of like automatic film cameras, manual film cameras, the classic dad handy cam that everybody loves. But I think my favorite favorite is my Super 8 camera. It just creates such a cool, nostalgic, feeling every time you use it. It's definitely an expensive hobby. So I very rarely actually am filming on this, but I'll pull it out for like special projects. It's very heavy. It's like there's nothing about it is convenient, but it's worth it. I also love journaling and I've journaled for like, God, probably like 12 years at this point. And so I actually, when I moved here, I brought all of my different journals from home. Again, what was I thinking when I moved? I brought cassettes and journals. I have all these different journals, like literally starting from like age 14. It's cool to kind of look back and see the way that I've like processed things over time or how different anxieties and concerns kind of worked themselves out or how things have just changed in ways I didn't expect. If you ever want access to my deep, dark secrets, just, you know, can break into my apartment and that's where they are but like please please don't actually do that this i feel like is a really good use of storage if you're looking for just a little extra space in your apartment it has this clothing rack in the back here so this is where i hang all my like super long dresses that don't really fit into my closet and now we will go check out my roommate's room so this is my roommate's room and it's a smaller of the two but it does have a balcony which is so so clutch so let me show you guys. Oh. This has been such a nice addition to have this little balcony space for just when you need like a little bit of fresh air or like sunshine on your skin, but you don't want to deal with actually having to go out into the craziness of New York. A lot of nice coffee mornings up here with the book or like you can kind of see the sunset. <laughs> Hello? Okay, classic New York. <laughs> a lot of nice little like evenings, like just having a glass of wine and watching the sunset up here, so. That's our apartment. Well, 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 the tables have turned. Um, and now I'm talking about my own apartment. I live in the East Village with roommate and we pay $6,000. So what's interesting about this apartment is that it's a COVID deal that is no longer a deal. When I moved in actually with another roommate, it was a net effective of like 40, 300 and it's gone up quite a bit in the last three years. But I really love this apartment. I think it's such a special space and it's been so fun to have like this larger apartment that's allowed me to like host and create content and it's just been an amazing place to live. 
I really love the East Village. I've been here for over four years. I've seen it go through a lot of different phases even in that time alone. Um, I think it's a really interesting neighborhood. It's very young. There's a lot of students and artists and you know the, the local figures that have been here for decades. It has a lot of really interesting history in like the art and the music scene and tons of incredible restaurants and like great cocktail bars and places to go out. From Tompkins Park to thrifting to running along the East Side River to going to amazing, amazing restaurants. So I've really loved living here. New York is incredible, it's chaotic and intense and it's so much, but it's unbeatable. No city in the world that I've ever been to even comes close in comparison. It's this beautiful mix of every kind of like person and industry and interest you could ever want to kind of discover or explore more of. You go to the opera one night and like a techno show one night and then a comedy show the next night and then like a drag show the next night. Like anything you want is literally at your fingertips. And there's just this crazy magnetic intense creative energy when you walk outside that it's like you can't you can't leave if you ever get a chance to live in new york i highly recommend <laughs>